What's up everybody? This is a video that I've done for the past couple of years and I want to kick off 2021 in the same way focusing on Funko Pops that I hope to see produced within this year. Um, this year even more so than last year I'm trying to focus on Pops that really have a good chance of being produced. You know, I did try to whittle down from what I had last year. And actually, some of the pops that I had on my list last year did end up being produced. And of course, I don't think that has anything to do with my video. It, you know, it just happened to be that Funko was able to secure those licenses and put out those pop figures. So again, I'm hopeful that Funko will be able to produce at least some of these figures in this upcoming year. Um, of course, this list is just my personal list, you know, my personal opinions. So I'm I'm sure you have your own ideas and you can share those in the comments but again we're going to get into my personal opinions here and of course you will see some things repeated on this list from last year if you've been with the channel for a good while and that's because the figures still have not been produced and uh, as a matter of fact i'm going to kick off the list with two characters from into the spider verse and that does include doc ock and penny parker as well it still kind of blows my mind that these characters were not given Funko Pops, I think they are two standout characters. And I know in the grand scheme of things with the Into the Spider-Verse movie, they were basically minor characters, but really cool designs and just awesome characters when it comes down to it. Now, of course, there is a sequel movie on the way. No surprise, this movie was a big hit and an Oscar winner as well. But, um, you know, I don't know if these characters will be in that sequel or not, but maybe that does give them a chance of being produced. When it comes to what has been produced by Funko already, like I said, of course, they don't have pop figures. With the minis, at least, there is a Penny Parker figure, um, along with Spider, of course, you know, her um, mech. But, yeah, they still, even there, did not do Doc Ock, which is disappointing. In fact, I can't think of um, any company that has put out anything for this version of Doc Ock, which is a shame because she's such an awesome character and looks really cool. So, yeah, hopefully that will actually happen this year, like I said, especially with a sequel for the movie on the way. Another one that has been on my list previously is Mr. Fix-It. Um, this version of the Hulk, which, you know, him is looking like a gangster basically i think is very cool and however they do the character i mean that's up to them and you know as long as it's hulk in the suit the gray hulk in the suit they are looking real awesome as a gangster i don't think he necessarily has to have um the tommy guns you know the weapons or anything like that you know but i, I just think it'd be a very cool looking figure and you know with the hulk there are many different versions of the hulk out there so funko really can continue to mix it up if they choose to do so they obviously have the marvel license you know but um you know maybe it depends on what marvel will allow them to do but uh, this is one i think just needs to happen eventually now as far as galactus is concerned of course there is a galactus pop and i know i'm not alone in being disappointed by that pop being a standard size figure i mean galactus is massive you know in the comics so it would be nice to see him as a a 10 inch pop or even an 18 inch pop um one thing i was thinking about though if we take a look at the actual figure that was produced again it's a standard size figure i was wondering you know to myself why is it they didn't do a larger figure and i wonder if it has something to do with the head scope because of licensing um funko cannot do any marvel figures that would be uh that can be perceived as action figures and that's why they do the bobbleheads for both um, marvel characters and star wars characters as well and i was wondering if scaling up the size of a galactus figure causes issues with that head scope because it is a large head scope so i don't know if that's the issue or not i could imagine if the head was much larger than um you know even with the larger spring still the head will probably be kind of drooping down on that spring so who knows, maybe that's part of the issue, but if Funko can figure it out, you know, how to produce it in a way where it is stable, you know, to stand stable, um, then I really would like to see a larger size of Galactus. As a matter of fact, I didn't even buy the standard size of Galactus because I was like, you know, they got to do a larger size eventually and hopefully they can do that. Here are a couple of figures that I think people would like to see. A comic book version of Nightcrawler. I know I'm not alone with that. I've seen this in the comments quite a bit that people really want to see a comic book version of Nightcrawler. And I'm right there with you all. I think that would be awesome to see. Also, Modoc, A comic book version of Modoc would be nice as well. We've had the Gamerverse one. Um, there's the zombie one that's on the way. But I still think that we need this. just a comic book version of Modoc would be nice to see and still quicksilver i you know this is one i've been wanting to see for a couple years now quicksilver the movie version would be nice to see as well and um funko has produced a lot of x-men pops based on the movie so hopefully this is one that still could happen in the near future 
And then finally here, as far as Marvel is concerned, I would like to see Elektra as Daredevil. This is something very new to the comics, and I, I just like that design. Her outfit looks really awesome there. And I think Funko has been pretty good about keeping up with what is going on in comics. You know, we've had some other um, pops that were based off of recent comics. So, yeah, this is, this could absolutely happen, and um, I hope it does happen. And just in general, I gotta say, I hope that Funko, you know, is, you know basically gives more love to... Um, female heroes and even female villains you know I, I know sometimes they don't sell as well as other figures but um yeah even if they have to produce them in limited numbers or make them con exclusives whatever it may be i hope to see more female characters in general um you know that are like i said heroes and villains as well when it comes to dc we always get plenty of the trinity we get a whole lot of batman some Wonder Woman and Superman as well. But I really want Funko to continue to expand beyond those characters and especially getting into the darker side of DC would be awesome. So the characters I would like to see include Ragdoll, Dead Man, and Etrigan the Demon. Now, Dead Man and um, Etrigan the Demon, they have been in animated series and movies as well. Um, Ragdoll, he was actually on the Flash, um, you know, CW series. So people are familiar with these characters now. It's not as if they're completely obscure anymore. People are familiar with them. And um, I think if they're in live action more so, you know, especially if they, um, DC and Warner Brothers are ever able to get the Justice League Dark movie off of the ground, then um, I think that would bring even more light to these characters and maybe we would start to see figures more regularly for like I said the darker side of DC but yeah these are three standout characters to me I really like these characters individually I think they look awesome together so hopefully this is something that can happen and then yes I still want a comic book accurate version of Doomsday of course there is the movie version of Doomsday which is very different from the comic book version so yeah I want to see a comic book version of Doomsday with all the bone spikes and everything the wild hair that would be very awesome to see. It also would be cool if they did maybe like a limited run of him in the um the hood and the outfit and everything. Like when he first appears on Earth, that would be awesome as well. Or whenever he's first dug up, whatever you want to say about his origin there. That would be nice to see as well. But yeah, comic book, actu comic book accurate version of Doomsday I think would be appreciated by fans of the comics. As far as ad icons are concerned, there's a lot of different characters that are still not produced, you know, that are popular um, characters, um, but still the Burger King comes to my mind. I really would like to see the Burger King. You know, we got all these McDonald's pops now. Just want that one Burger King pop and I would be happy. And, I, you know, if you go into um, Burger King's uh, old commercials and whatever, you probably could find other pops that could be produced. But for me, if they just do the Burger King himself, I'd be happy with that and I would absolutely buy that pop figure. And then as far as Coraline is concerned, I really think they could do a full other wave of characters from Coraline, including maybe even another version of Coraline. But I think YB is um, a character I really want to see produced. And of course, they could do different versions of YB, just him as he normally is. And then him with that awesome helmet would be very cool as well. Maybe even on the bike, that would be pretty awesome to see. And then um, him with the button eyes and the sewn up mouth, that is another option as well. So they really could do maybe like YB and then YB with a chase variant. Um, maybe him with the button eyes as a um, chase variant. And then maybe do him with the helmet on the bike as like um, a con thing or something something like that because I think Funko might be worried about how well he would sell or not so maybe do that in limited but yeah it would be really cool to see YB and like I said of course there are some other characters that could be produced based on Coraline as well. When it comes to horror figures I know Super Freddy is cheesy I, I know that but that's what I actually like about it I, I like that Super Freddy would be a kind of cheesy pop and just a, another version of Freddy would be cool to see as well the same thing goes with Jason X I know Jason X is very cheesy but a lot of people have you know fond memories of that movie because of how silly and over the top it was I really would like to see Jason X and I know that Jason Voorhees and Friday the 13th that franchise is still tied up in some litigation but some companies still have been putting out you know Jason Voorhees figures so obviously with the merchandise it could still happen I don't know if there's an issue with that particular movie or not though but yeah if, if Funko can make that happen I would definitely snag up a, um, a Jason X 
pop in a heartbeat. And then with Candyman, I think Candyman actually has a good chance of being produced because there is that reboot movie on the way. I don't know what um, Candyman is going to look like in that actually movie, that actual movie. But yeah, if they do a pop based on the original Candyman, and of course they could do a variant, maybe one of him with the jacket closed and then one open where you actually see the bees and everything. That would be really awesome to see. And I have seen some really cool custom pop figures of Candyman. And then um, a pop based on Samara from The Ring, that would be awesome as well, especially if they could do her coming out of the television. That would be really awesome to see. That's a pop I've been wanting for years as well. So as far as horror is concerned, you know, these are the characters that stand out to me. I'm sure some of you could think of some other ones that you would like to see as well. And then with video games, um, it, I don't know if Funk was going to do any more Street Fighter pops. It's been a good while now since they have produced any, but if they were to come back to Street Fighter, it would be nice to see characters such as Gal Vega and especially M. Bison. M. Bison is the main one that I want to see from Street Fighter. And of course, there are plenty of other awesome characters as well. But yeah, if they at least get some more of the characters from the original version of Street Fighter 2, that would be nice to see. And with Mortal Kombat, of course, a lot of possibilities there. There are a ton of possibilities with Mortal Kombat. It still amazes me that there's not a Johnny Cage or Kano or um, who else, Jax, Shang Tsung, you know, some of these characters would be very cool to see. And then of course, the ones you see here pictured as well. And I mean, Melina, Melina is hugely popular, you know, especially since she's come back finally in Mortal Kombat 11. She is a hugely popular character that would be appreciated. And of course, they could do a chase variant of her. Um, they basically had the common mask and then maybe do an unmasked chase variant. That would be awesome to see. And then, you know, some of the ninjas, some of the cyber ninjas, um, also Shao Kahn. Yeah, there is a lot that they could do with Mortal Kombat. And I think a lot of people would appreciate that. And then this is very personal to me. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm grateful. Trust me, I'm grateful that they did a pop of the Hunter from Bloodborne. I didn't even think that was going to happen, but I'm very grateful they did that. I do have that pop in my collection. I still would like to see more from Bloodborne, though. Um, you know, that would be very cool to see. As far as um, enemies are concerned, if they could do the Blood Star Beast, that would be very awesome. And then there's some really cool supporting characters as well, like the ones you see pictured here. Lady Maria, the doll, Eileen the Crow, and they just have really great designs, you know. So, yeah, if Funko could do some more with Bloodborne, I'd be very appreciative of that. I feel like there's just not enough... Um, out there in terms of figures and statues with Bloodborne and some of them are really high priced because there's not a lot available so yeah I would appreciate it if Uncle could do more with Bloodborne um, maybe it would take maybe a, like a, the announcement of a sequel or something for Bloodborne for Funko to pay more attention to this franchise this game um but yeah I, I just really love Bloodborne it's my favorite game of all time I've said that before so if they could produce some more I'd be very happy and then I'm going to end things off here with, of course, Wu-Tang Clan. Wu-Tang has been uh, rumored for a while to be on the way. We have not seen anything yet, but I really hope that this is in the works. I would love a pop album of Enter the Wu-Tang 36 Chambers. That would be very cool to see. And then, you know, some of the individual members as well, you know, whoever they can produce, that would be awesome to see. There actually was a rumored list previously, and I cannot remember which all members were on it, but I think it was the more popular members, obviously. And, um, you know, like I said, whatever they could produce of Wu-Tang, I'm probably going to pick it up, you know, regardless of what it is. And the members have had different looks over the years, you know, so there's a lot that Funko could do potentially here. And I would like to see more than one pop album as well. You know, some of those classic Wu-Tang albums would be awesome to see its pop albums as well I'll, I'll make the space I know pop albums take up some space but when it comes to Wu-Tang trust me I would make the space that would definitely be worth it so yeah hopefully we actually see Wu-Tang pops produced within this year one more piece of business I got to take care of here before I wrap up this video. Of course, I did a, a video on my favorite pops of 2020. And within that video, I gave you all a giveaway opportunity. So I do need to announce the winner of this giveaway. And the winner is Ortiz Pop Hunter. And um, Ortiz Pop Hunter, I know, um, supports the channel. I see his name quite a bit, you know, commenting on a regular basis. Um, I also follow him on Instagram, and I've used some of his pictures in the past. He takes some really good pop pics. Now, this was a random drawing, but I do have to be honest and say I'm glad that this um, giveaway opportunity was won by somebody who is very supportive 
of the channel and for everybody else that entered of course you will have other opportunities in the future so do be on the lookout for those but congratulations to ortiz pop hunter do make sure you reach out to me um soon and let me know which two items you would like for me to send your way and after i can confirm you know that it's you i'm speaking to then i will make sure i get these figures to you as soon as possible like i said for everybody else there are more opportunities on the way so do be on the lookout for those and thank you all so much that did um choose to enter because you actually had to pay attention to the video to be able to enter so yeah i definitely appreciate the support but you all that is going to do it for this video and of course i'm really looking forward to reading your comments let me know what pops you hope to see produced in 2021 and I, I would encourage you as well to try to keep it realistic um you know really think about what is going to make money for funko because when it comes down to it they are a company that needs to make money so think about what would sell if you go off with something too niche i, I just you know it's probably not going to happen so really think about what could realistically be produced within this year um like i said i'm, I'm going to check out those comments and i really do look forward to checking them out and thank you all for taking the time to watch this video and i will I'll talk to you all again real soon.